often that you hear Chinese instruments in global genres like jazz, for instance, but doesn't mean that it wouldn't sound good. We're here at Carnegie Hall, where six musicians from China are showing off the versatility of Chinese traditional instruments in The Charm. The Charm, which took place in Carnegie Hall's Wild Recital Hall, consisted of 11 original compositions, each showcasing a unique blend of Chinese traditional sounds and themes, including Buddhism, Confucianism, mythology, and even tea, with Western musical genres, including jazz. The six musicians, all quite accomplished in their fields, were joined by guest musicians on a variety of Western musical instruments for some of the pieces. This concert marks the world premiere of The Charm. We want to show that not only Chinese music, you know, we can do samba or jazz yeah, or avant-garde. Every kind of music had their own charm. So we want to share the charm of the music. And also, uh, I think most importantly, is the fusion. I think we just want to show the attitude to like young Chinese musicians and composers. We want to do more and to show more. So that's why we call this like concert the charm because we want to show the charming of Chinese music. Let the view how Chinese culture, how Chinese music can like give them like some different emotion. Pianists and composers Li Zong and Dong Liu were inspired by anything from Buddhist texts to the transitioning life of Chinese people in New York City when creating these fusion works. I'm inspired by the culture from China, but I still use some Western music system because the traditional music is not focus on the rhythm or groove sometimes, but I want to enhance that part to make the music more global. My inspirations mostly come from the life in New York City, in like a study abroad, you know, socially in like in a bar and try to make into the system. That's also like, I just want to try something new and try to authentically like merge the uh, Eastern instruments. Jiajiu Shen and Fei Fei Yang met in 2012 on their first day at Pratt Institute, and it was from there that the idea for the charm was born and began to grow. During all the uh, improvisation and cooperation with all the musicians, we found that hmm, maybe we should bring something from our culture and contribute to other cultures, so we can, you know, not only uh, make the music better, but also make the community become a better one. So in the future, we hope that there will be more and more musicians join us and to show the charm of Chinese music to, you know, all the audience from the world. Deputy Consul General Zhang Meifang was also in attendance to show her support. It is really a very special concert. This is the first time for to combine the Chinese traditional music with the modern techniques. So we thought that this is the best way of expression, uh, showcasing the Chinese special talents as well as the Chinese traditional uh, instruments. We also hope that this concert will also play a significant role in promoting the friendship between the peoples of China and the United States.